Good evening. Uh, I'm going to do this video from my phone because I left my computer at work today. Um, so this is um, Carneros uh, Brewing Company out of Sonoma, California. Uh, and this is their Cerveza, Cerveza Pilsner. Um, and so this is a small family owned um, brewery and... Um, Anyway, they they tout everywhere that it's uh, just four ingredients. Um, barley, hops, yeast. Um, hmm, talks about four, and it doesn't say them all. But anyway, um, so this is um, rated, uh, or this is uh, judged as a... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Bohemian um, Pilsner, according to Rate Beer. Uh, I couldn't really find any information that um, that narrowed down the category specifically. So it's in the Pilsner category, but within the Pilsner category, there are a couple of different types. There is um, a Bohemian, Bohemian or Czech Pilsner. Um, trying to pour beer and hold the video at the same time. This is hard. Um, uh, American Pilsner and then... Um, the German Pilsner. So this is going to be rated as the Bohemian Pilsner. Let's see if I can balance that. Okay. Um, and pour beer at the same time. Okay, anyway, now I got this. Um, so this should be pretty good. I'm really looking forward to trying this. I hadn't ever heard of uh, Carneros um, Brewery before, um, but I'm going to be in Napa this weekend. And um, so when I read that it was Sonoma, um, which is right next door, I thought, you know, I need to um, do some beer research on that region so I can try some beers while I'm up there. Um, so it's 5% alcohol by volume. Let me just verify that that's the case. Yes, 5% alcohol by volume, and the range for this particular style is 4.2 to 5.4, so it falls into that category um, nicely. Um, so, aroma. Ooh, this is gonna, this is gonna be good. I'm looking forward to this. Hmm. Wow, it's yeasty, um... But clean and crisp, and uh, this is good. Mmm. There's a little bit of a bitter smell to it. Um, I can definitely get the hops out of it. Um, but it's not overwhelming. It's very well balanced. Um, so appearance, let's see. Oh, I can turn the whole video. How convenient. Um, it's a, a beautiful golden color. Um, and it's, I can't tell if it's, if it's, slightly hazy. It's just slightly hazy, I think. Um, and, um, let's see. Um, it, it says brilliant to very clear. Um, so it's slightly hazy here, which is probably not necessarily to style. Um, but, uh, it poured with a huge head. Um, and so it calmed down enough that I can actually drink it. I was worried that my first couple of drinks were just going to be um, um, foam. So that's nice. I'm glad that it um, calmed down. Um, it should have a, a creamy, long-lasting um, head, so it poured well for that. So let's give this a try. Wow, um, this is, um, has a bready kind of quality to it, but a little bit of spiciness. Um, it's, but just, just a tiny, tiny, tiny little hint of spicy. I wouldn't even necessarily say, um, that it has a spicy flavor, which I had kind of expected, um, based on the style. Uh, but this is very well balanced, um. We're expecting a lot of maltiness, um, but a rounded bitterness and spicy flavor from Saz Hops. But I don't think that that's the kind of hops that they used. Of course, it's not going to say it here. This isn't on the internet. But um, 
So interesting. Um, I get a little bit of a of a, an aftertaste, but this beer is so clean. There's it. It's. Crisp and clean, it pretty much doesn't have any aftertaste. It has like this, um, mm, I almost want to say pretzel-y kind of a flavor to it. Um, and um, very little aftertaste. I mean, there's like a, a hint of hop bitterness at the end, but just, just barely. Um, this beer is very in and out, like the flavor happens quickly, um, and I think that you could miss it um, if you did just like a little four ounce pour and you drank the the whole taster in one go you might not even fully experience this beer so I think this is a beer to kind of slow down and savor um, and have a couple of drinks before you make an opinion about it um, mouthful uh, mouth feel it is a full mouth body um, beer it's very interesting because uh, as as um, unimpressionable as the flavor is, it's so delicate um, and light. Um, the body is is velvety and rich, um, and that's kind of nice. I like that. Um, and it says here that it should be a medium body for this particular style, uh, and I think that they've done that well. Um, the overall impression for this particular style is you're looking for something that's crisp and complex, well-rounded, um, yet refreshing. I think that des description um, does this particular beer justice, um, but this is so different from, I think, what the American um, main like trend in beer is right now that it's surprising and enjoyable. Um, you know, it's just crisp, it's clean, um, it has... A very um, simple flavor to it um, very drinkable this is a really great beer I'm really glad that I tried it now I'm interested in in learning about some other things that uh, Carneros does um, I saw that they have an IPA and things like that so maybe I need to take a trip while I'm in Napa um, and bump on over to Sonoma uh, and check this out um, so anyway not to get off topic the history of this particular style of beer is that it was first brewed in 1842 um, this style was the original clear light colored beer um, and so, um, it uses, uh, Monrovian mal malted barley and a decoction mash for a rich malt character. Um, and I can see that that would be the case because it's just got this, um, the maltiness is very, um, hmm, complex and interesting, um, but the flavor is very, very quick. Um, anyway, um, it says also that um, it has a distinctively soft, rounded hop profile. I think distinctively soft, rounded hop is a beautiful way to describe this particular style. Um, it, it's just a great beer. Um, and it has some chemical things that happen in it um, with dextrins that... Um, enha enhances the perception of a fuller palate, and I think that's very interesting um, that it's getting the body in, in that way. And so we get this nice complexity in the malt, um, and in a way that would um, have processed it and made it, um, you would think, with more intense flavor to get the fuller uh, mouthfeel, but it doesn't happen here, and um, it's very pleasant. Um, let's see. I think that covers everything. We got it all here. Anyway, very good beer. If you have a chance to give it a try, I definitely recommend it. Um, I think that this place is putting out some good beers, and um, I'll have to um, find some more and share about them. So uh, if you have given this beer a try, share with me down below. I would love to hear your opinion. Um, and then also where you were able to find it. I found this at uh, Whole Foods. I'm relatively certain this is the first time that I've seen it. Um, so hopefully we see some more stuff from, from Carneros um, in the future. So thank you so much for watching and have a good night.